All right, class, today we're starting unit 12, which is over transformations. Um, this is anything that kind of fluctuates, uh, reflects, or in today's topic, we are talking about translations, okay? So uh, let's go over a few definitions. And as we do this, if you're one of my students and you're taking notes, you can feel free to pause and uh, rewind if you have to to get all these notes written down correctly. But let's look at the definition of what a transformation is. It's just any operation that moves, flips, changes a figure to create a new figure. Uh, there's going to be some, I know, some like words that you need to know with this, starting with the pre-image. A pre-image is just the original figure, right? And that makes the image, the new figure created by the transformation. Okay, so if you start with something original and you go to like, let's say, flip it or rotate it, the new one that you create is going to be called the image. The original was the pre-image. Uh, we also use what's called prime notation. And so let's say we have this rectangle down here. Uh, this is just the pre-image A, B, C, D. All right, A, B, C, D. And we're going to make a new image. The way we would read this is A prime, B prime, C prime and D prime. The way you pronounce it is with the word prime. So this little um, apostrophe looking thing, that's called prime, A prime. That just means that you've done something to A and now it's A prime, so it has been moved. Okay? All right, let's see if we can get into today's topic, which is over translations. A transformation that moves every point in a figure the same distance and the same direction. Sometimes they refer to this as a slide, all right? So let's say it is on a coordinate like this, coordinate notation, and how is how you describe kind of a translation on a coordinate plane. And here I have two figures, as you can see over here, and the red and the blue. And with these two, if you look at the letters closely, this one does not have any notation with it, it's just a regular A. Whereas this one has an A prime. So something has been done to uh, that figure to go kind of from the original to the new one up here. And when you have a translation like this, you can kind of figure out how that shifted. In this case, you can see down here, they shifted each of these points, left five and then up three. And that'd be true if I did it with the Bs, I could see it went one, two, three, four, five to the left and up one, two, three. All okay. right, so the translation that you can see for this one is ABC is translated by the XY's moving in the X direction left five, or we'll say negative five, and in the Y direction up three. And that's going to be very important. That's how we're going to write some of our answers today on your assignment. So it's going compared to just if I start with the regular X and regular Y, we shift it left five and up three. Okay, here we're going to do one, um, and this should be in your notes if you are one of my students. This says example one, um, graph the square where we have S, Q, R, and E, and they give us those different coordinates. We're going to graph this, and we're going to label the image after the translation. So do this along with me. S, I'll do the first one in blue. S is at the point 1, 2. So 1, 2 is right here. And I'm going to wait to label these until I'm done so I know where the outside of the box is. Uh, Q is 4, 1. One, two, three, four, and up one. R is five, four. One, two, three, four, five, up one, two, three, four. And E is two, five, two, three, or one, two, three, four, five. All right, so let me put this like so. I'll connect the, the vertices of my square is what it tells me. And again, this was, I think, S, Q, R and E, all right, just like that. Now I'll switch colors and it says to graph and label the image after the transform translation, excuse me. So again, that image that I, the image, the uh, thing that I drew on here, S-Q-R-E, that was the pre-image. And what I'm gonna do to this with this translation of moving my X left two and my Y right three, that's, um, you know, after I make that, after I do those moves, that's going to be called the image. So let's see if we can try that. I'm going to take each of these vertices, S, Q, R, and E, and move them. Like I said, this means it's going to go compared to my X, right? This is my X axis, so it's left to right. 
And if it's a negative 2, it's going to be left 2. If it was a positive 2, it would be right 2. But since it's negative, it's left. And the plus 3 for the y, y is in my up and down direction. And so therefore, since it's plus 3, this is going to be up 3. All right, let's do that for each one of these. So if I take, let's say, the e, for example, this is going to go left 2, 1, 2, and up 1, 2, 3. That is now going to be called e prime. Right. What about the R? This one's left two, one, two, and right, or an up, excuse me, one, two, three. And so now right here, that is going to be R prime. And then the S, left two and up three. So this is S prime. And lastly, the Q, left two and up one, two, three, is right there for Q prime. All right, connect the vertices of that new square. You can do this on your paper as well. And now you have a new square that has been shifted left two and up three. So it's kind of like it slid or it was a slide of the original, All right? And we want to write its coordinates. So let, let me do this. Let me go S prime, um, Q prime, R prime, and E prime. So those new red coordinates, let's see, S is now at negative one, one, two, three, four, five. Q. Uh, the Q prime, I should say, is 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's 2, 4. The R prime is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 3, 7. Again, this is just counting coordinates, uh, points. We've plotted points before. Now let's see if you can try the last one on your own. E prime, I'll give you a couple seconds here. All right, did you get it? Should be at 0, 8, 0, 8 for that one. All right, hopefully you're able to get all those. Let's try another example. All right, example two says write the coordinates of A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime after the translation x, y, 2, x plus 6, comma, y minus 2. All right, these I think are actually easier than doing all the graphing and such because you can just look at the coordinates themselves. All right, for example, if A is regularly for the X supposed to be a negative 4, well, I'm going to take that original negative 4 and just add 6 to it. So what is negative 4 plus 6? Well, the X value here is going to be a positive 2. Similarly, if my Y value for A is 3, then I'm going to subtract 2. Of course, 3 minus 2 is 1. So A prime is now 2, 1. What about B prime? Well, if it starts at negative 2 for the x and I'm adding 6, that's going to be a 4. And if it was 4 for the y value and I'm subtracting 2, that is a 2. All right, you guys try C and D on your own. Pause the video here and see if you can get them. All right, hopefully you're able to get 5, negative 1, and 3, negative 1 for C prime and D prime. All right, let's do another one now. This time, for example, three, it's asking us, it says, write a translation rule. So this time we're going to come up with the rule uh, for TRI to T prime, R prime, I prime. Now, let's look at what a rule looks like. If I go back to that last slide, the rule is actually this part, okay? Where we start with an X, Y in parentheses, like just a regular point, and we'll put an arrow, and we're going to say, what is the X doing and what is the Y doing? from the pre-image to the image, okay? So if I go to this current slide then, let's see, first off, which one is the pre-image? And that, of course, is the one without your primes. So the primes come on this right one, this kind of bottom right, which means this one up here is the one that is the original image or known as the pre-image, okay? So because of that, let's see kind of what happens. Uh, maybe I'll pick R and see what did we do from R to R prime. So it looks like to me, we went, um, remember we go left to right first, that's the X value. We went right, one, two, three, four, five, six, and down, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's double check, that's the same for all the points here. The T, looks like it's off just a bit, but that's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, and down, one, two, three, four. All right, so I think it's safe to say that um, compared to my original X and Y, if I want to write the rule here, I'm going to say my original X and Y is now going to become, well, the X, what do I do with this? Now I'm going to the right 
six. So if I'm going right six, I'm adding six, right? That's going in the positive direction. Comma, what's the y doing? Well, it went down one, two, three, four. So down four is a negative four. So this right here is the rule um, when we go from the pre-image to the image in example three. All right, and I think that should do it here for translations. So go ahead and finish up your notes if you have to, and then go get the assignments.